Hello again, I am Blunty, and as I press record, I have just received a shipping notification that tells me that my Xbox Series X should be arriving tomorrow. In the meantime, in today's deliveries, I got this. Now, as we all are probably aware, the controller for the Series X and Series S uh, continues the trend of the last generation controllers, of which I have one there. I'll show you why in a second. Um, but it runs off standard AA batteries, which is a good thing. AA batteries, easy to get, easy to find, uh, and you can swap them in with rechargeable AA's if you would prefer rechargeable replaceable batteries. But there's also the opportunity to do what happens here, and that is replace them with a dedicated battery pack uh, in combination with a special back door for the controller that snaps into a charging dock. And this is my personal preference. And in the down below, I'll link to a video that I made about the dock I've been using up until now for my uh, Xbox controllers and my PlayStation controllers and my Switch Pro controller as well. But the company that made those ones don't make one for the new controllers yet. So instead I grabbed what was available, which is this Power A dual charging station here. And I ordered this specifically for the Series X controller that I would be getting with my unit. But I didn't actually read very carefully because this actually does a little bit more than that. So let's get to the unboxing. There we go, we'll just sit that back there. How's that look? Decoration on set there, 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 there. I don't know. So uh, first off, let's have a look here. We've got a American style plug controller because I did get this from uh, Amazon uh, US. So this is effectively useless to me, but that's all right. It's a standard DC plug. I've got plenty of those. I'm sure I'll have something to fit. Let's see, what is it? It is five volts, one amp. Yeah, I've got like 47 of those in a drawer somewhere, I'm sure. So we'll put that aside. Uh, next up, here's the base itself. And one of the things that I didn't notice when I ordered it, that this does, that I noticed on the uh, back of the pack, is that it actually has two modes. You can put your controller in it, in rest mode, if you don't want to charge the battery for some reason, but the charging function is actually activated when you push down on it, so it clicks, it latches down. Not sure how useful that actually is in practice, but it's interesting to have that feature. It turns out if you think this thing is a bit silly and inconvenient and kind of pointless, you can just leave it latched in the down position, and uh, you know, it's fine. Doesn't start charging until you put your controller on there anyway, as indicate, indicated, indicated was the word I was hunting for there, not indicated. It's late in the evening. I'm recording late in the evening again. Shouldn't do that. I lose my propensity, propensity, ability for words. I did that one deliberately just to make you laugh. Did it work? <sighs> Aside from that, it's uh, you know pretty general. I've got the power input there, a little cable thread for it there so it's nice and tidy coming out the back or in this case the side how I'll have it orientated to my little shelf. Instruction booklet, who is that? Now this is the bit that I didn't realize until it actually arrived. As you can see here there are two charging ports but there are four battery doors and I didn't realize that it actually has battery doors for both the old and new controllers. So it's got the Series X and the uh, um, 1X and, and standard Xbox controller. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but they're almost identical, such as the controllers themselves are almost identical. But the battery door itself is very, very, very slightly different and they're not interchangeable. So they give me two doors for the old controllers and two doors for the new controllers and one battery pack for each side uh, of the charging dock. So that's why I've got this sitting on the deck at the moment. So. And of course these batteries are keyed so you cannot put them in the wrong way around. There's a little skinny bit there and a little fat bit there and you've got to put it out so the connectors here for the charge connector are facing out of course. So that slides in there. Hooray! Now, which one is which? I think it's this one. Did I get it? Yay! Guessed right! It doesn't look so bad. I mean color matching is a bit of an issue here but it's on the back so you never notice it when you're actually using the controller. Don't know how uh, pedantic you want to be about that sort of stuff. So and we can just place it on there. Oh, it locates quite nicely. Certainly locates and sort of auto locates uh, quite a bit better than the docks I was using. You literally just drop it in there and it just falls right into the appropriate place every single time. And if we press down on that, that reveals the charging pads there. And of course it's not lighting up at the moment because I don't have it plugged in, but yeah. I did forget to mention it while I was doing the unboxing and setup and things like that, but the battery specifically is 1100 milliamp hour. The front of the box claims it'll run for up to 40 hours per charge. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure what the battery life on the new controller is going to be like, but uh, 
I can tell you that the Nyko ones I was using the other dock for these uh, last generation controllers is probably going to be around about the same uh, capacity. It's not actually written on the battery, funnily enough. I'll have to check that up. I'll put it on the screen after I've checked it, but uh, yeah, I had zero issues with battery life as far as the controllers are concerned with that. They never went flat on me, uh, you know, even in the longest gaming sessions. So shouldn't be a thing you need to worry about. So all in all, the Power A dual charging station there. If you're keeping your you know, old Xbox controller around, you know, you've retired it from Xbox duty because, well, you've got the new Xbox. Well, maybe you want to use this on your PC going forward. You can still have both controllers. You can charge the old one and the new one on the same dock. Just change out the you know, appropriate battery door for the controller you're using. And you do get, of course, two batteries. So I quite like that. I can recommend that. I'll link to it in the down below on the Amazon link as per usual because, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting and useful little quick look at the charging base there. If you are interested in seeing what I'm going to be doing with the Series X when it arrives, we'll be streaming with it this weekend, of course. So follow along on twitch.tv slash bluntnate. And thank you as always to the patrons scrolling up above there. Your guys' support is superb and it's the Patreon money I actually spent to buy this thing. So thanks for that, guys. Lovely.